Hey guys, you here. Welcome back to our OBGYN Stenography Ribs Review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question to give me enough time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive into this thing. What does this image show? A. Lysencephaly B. Porencephaly C. Schizencephaly or D. Coposcephaly The answer is D, coposcephaly. What type of ultrasound appearance will endometriosis show? A, posterior acoustic shadowing. B, multipath artifact. C, posterior acoustic enhancement. Or D, reverberation. The answer is C, posterior acoustic enhancement. Click on the crux of this heart. The answer is going to be right in this region here. Micronethia is best visualized in what view? A. Long axis, B. Coronal, C. Transverse, or D. Oblique coronal plane? The answer is A. Long axis or the sagittal view. A female fetus with a coarctation could raise suspicions of what condition? A. Edward syndrome, B. Turner syndrome, C. Patel syndrome, or D. Triploidy? The answer is B. Turner syndrome. What type of ultrasound appearance will a thecoma show? A. Posterior attenuation. B. Speed error artifacts. C. Posterior acoustic enhancement. Or D. Mirror imaging. The answer is A, posterior attenuation. A fetus is considered obese when the EFW is what percent at their given gestational age and will most likely be delivered what way? A, less than 10% in vaginally. B, greater than 90% in C-section. C, less than 10% in C-section. Or D, greater than 90% in vaginally. The answer is B, greater than 9%, and it'll be delivered C-sectionally. Which view is best for evaluating hypoplastic left heart syndrome? A, short axis, B, outflow tracts, C, three vessel view, or D, apical four chamber? The answer is D, apical four chamber. Which is the correct way to measure tumors? A, outer to outer, B, inner to inner, C, outer to inner, or D, measure width outer to outer and the height inner to inner.
The answer is C, outer to inner. In other words, you're going to go leading edge to leading edge. Which best demonstrates this ultrasound? A, Apert syndrome. B, Arnold Chiari malformation. C, DeGeorge syndrome. Or D, Turner syndrome. The answer is A, Apert syndrome. If large enough, a thecoma will resemble what? A, serous cystadenoma. B, hemorrhagic cyst. C, second gestational sac. Or D, leiomyoma. The answer is D, leiomyoma. What type of ultrasound appearance will be demonstrated during an ultrasound guided biopsy? A, posterior acoustic shadowing. B, multipath artifact. C, posterior acoustic enhancement. Or D, reverberation. The answer is D, reverberation. A complex or thick-walled corpus luteum cyst will resemble what? A, ectopic pregnancy. B, hemorrhagic cyst. C, second gestational sac. Or D, ascites. The answer is A, ectopic pregnancy. Which is not associated with agenesis of the corpus callosum? A, Down syndrome, B, Apert syndrome, C, Edwards syndrome, or D, Patel syndrome? The answer is A, Down syndrome. Which is known as a Warkini syndrome too? A, trisomy 11, B, trisomy 8, C, trisomy 13, or D, trisomy 18. The answer is B, trisomy 8. A fused thalamus is most commonly found in which of the following? A, trisomy 11, B, trisomy 8, C, trisomy 13, or D, trisomy 18. The answer is C, trisomy 13, which is also called Patel syndrome. A fetus will have suspicions of having IUGR when the EFW is what percent at their given gestational age? A, less than 10%, B, greater than 90%, C, between 11% and 49%, or D, between 50% and 89%. The answer is A, less than 10%. Fluid escaping from a mucinous cystadenocarcinomous tumor will resemble what? A, adnexal masses, B, hemorrhagic cyst, 
C. Second gestational sac. Or D. Ascites. The answer is D, ascites. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming OBGYN boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardofview at gmail.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-1635. If you're looking for extra study material, go to my website, ultrasound board review. Click the top here. Click enter the pass zone. Scroll down. Until you see OBGYN Stenography Mock Exams, click that, scroll down, and then click subscribe. I'm Jim with Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.